Today I am pressure washing a vinyl house in uh, a neighborhood I do a lot of work in. It's uh, January here in North Carolina and it is almost 70 degrees. So it's a great uh, temperature and a great day to be out pressure washing when a lot of the rest of the country is under a deep freeze. So one thing I wanted to talk about today was my pressure washing technique which uh, I've kind of fine-tuned over the years and uh, I don't really use a high pressure machine I, I don't use a high pressure machine on vinyl siding or most houses that um, I clean um, I use let's see a little green container home armor easy deck and fence wash they also have a product that uh, is just for homes, but the only difference between the two products is really a little tab um, that goes in the sprayer that you can just pull off um, that would cause the solution to fan out on a deck uh, or a fence. And I just take that off and the, the deck and fence wash is like a dollar cheaper than the house wash. So uh, the house that I'm working on today, this, this is the north side of the house, and it's got a pretty high peak. I'd say the house is probably about 3,000 square feet. But this whole side was black with algae, which is pretty pervasive here in the south. Uh, so it starts on the north side, and then it just starts to go around the house. And I have... Um, basically coated this side of the house with a bleach solution which uh, some people are scared of the idea of using bleach on the house but it's really the most effective and I think it's it's fairly environmentally safe it, it dissipates pretty quick you just have to be careful with it around plants and everything but uh, in I don't know I'd, I'd say I've been out here for 30 minutes and I pretty much have this side of the house done. I, I have the peak left to do, so I gotta climb up the ladder um, with the hose in hand and uh, clean the peak, the fascian, soffit, and everything. But um, this is what I call a low pressure house wash, and it does great. A lot of people um, damage siding, put swirl marks on the siding when they use high pressure because they just don't know what they're doing. So, um, say 70% of doing this sort of work is technique 30% uh, is having the right tools um, to use knowing um, the right amount of bleach to use and wear and not destroying customers uh, plants so anyhow I uh, want to recommend like I said the easy armor product and it does a great job um, I I do refill the jugs myself, uh, but they wear out over time, and um, it's a pretty cost-effective way for me to, to do this sort of work. A lot of people don't want to get on ladders, and a lot of people don't like to be covered with bleach, so they hire me. That's a good thing. All right. Have a good day.